Assalamu alaikum dear friends welcome back to server designing and Sewell 3d video series by Murad Faru. dear friends today video tutorial we will learn how to create manual points by using slope and distance slope very important topic so dear friends in this video we will learn how to create the manual points manual points by slope and we will be at our labels which one is include on grid and slope dear friends please watch this video up and please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more such informative videos if you have any question regarding this video and any other videos please do it comment in the comment box go to the home tab and select from here this point option and create point this one point and then again manual point and manual now you can see in the comment uh, in the command bar please specify a location for the new point just we need to specify the location and enter the description for the point suppose one and press enter then again we need to enter the level for the point 100.00 and press enter specify a location for point or one point is created we need to create two points the same way we need to enter the level 100.20 now we need to specify the location for the second point suppose we need to create here and press enter 120 and press enter now you can see your two point is created close this tab and now we need to create a sample line just click on the point and enter the distance suppose we need to enter 20 meter and press enter reduce the scale from here this point is too much for we need to move this near to our point select and move the point I wanna do put here Here is okay. So now we need to draw a feature line. Go to the sorry, not feature line. We need to go to point creation tool create point slope and slope grid and distance go to the point and slope and select the second one option and here you can see specify start point this is our start point you can see the command bar specify point to define a direction on the line we give the direction a gradient we need to select the gradient and now we need to enter the slope how much slope suppose this is minus 3.00 and press enter now we need to enter our distance suppose 20 meter 
how much point you need between this we need to enter 10 points we need and here specify offset we don't need any offset we need on the same line 0 and enter now we need to enter the description 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you can see your point is completed one is on the start and one is on the end and 10 is in middle between these two points just select the point and go to the properties to show elevation on this cogo point point label select this option point label and select the elevation only now you can see the elevation is display and reduce the scale from here up to now it's pretty well look just close this one now we need to draw a feature line select this one and press here the ok button and here you can see select or specify the first point you can see the level is same 100 we need to enter yeah level is correct feature line we need to enter to show our slope and level just enter no i want to zoom and i want to show how this feature line is giving you the correct information this is the same distance 20 radiant monthly 3 and this is slope and this is our level of the last point Put here we are using the feature line for the details for this kind of details so the next we need to add the labels we need to go to annotate this option and go to add level no I want to bring zoom in to show labels feature line add feature line labels okay select and from here you can show any label on your count feature line distance bearing distance only great slope anything which one you want from this label you can select and you can display on the on your line just select we need to select a grade only add and select on this select where you select the grade will be display on the same place just now we need to add our distance select from both option the distance you can see the 20 meter distance now we need to add our slope select the slope add and press anywhere you will be see okay now you can see your slope gradient distance is display on the feature line close this one now the next we will be create this one without the distance just we will be enter the start level and the end level and everything will be created by self point and go to create point slope and the last point with elevation go this one and slope grade and elevation you don't need to enter distance for this way just press on first point and here give the direction 
and again give we need the gradient okay we need to give the end level suppose we need to give 120 and enter enter so we don't need the end point if you need you can click on S enter description of point you can see just enter we need 10 points you will be see now this is your all points around 80 meter up to 80 meter is automatically created the points select the first point and go to select similar we need to display labels on the same points go to the properties and from the labels you need to display elevation only close this one and go to the feature line again the same way we need to draw and remember the feature line you need to start from the up level and end on the down level from up to down from high level to low level just 120 is the up and the 100 is the down select here and you can see here automatically is display 100 slope gradient and distance if you have two levels start and end so you can create this is by as per the points requirement like in this way if you have the distance you can use the first way which one I explain on the first line so we need to add label same before which one we display on the first one go to the feature line and go to add feature line labels select the same way which one I explain already go to grade only grade only from here also add and select the line only add and add this is the distance we need to display slope also add and select on the line now you can see your label is added close this one so dear student i hope this video is helpful for you guys and please subscribe our channel and share with your friends i recommend this channel for your classmate and friends so we will be see in the next video learning how bon assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh